Uh, all right, so I'm recording. <clears throat> so, Boggle Board. So, the, for the Boggle Challenge, what do people think of this one? Any comments? Did it suck? <laughs> Thought it was kind of fun trying to work it all out. Nice. It's good. All right. <clears throat> so, it's first, I'm in Mike Platoon Boggle. I'm going to fork it over to my personal GitHub, Tom Preet. It's making a copy of it. All right. Now I'm going to clone it down to my local machine. I'm going to copy and paste or copy the Git or this URL. So I'm going to come over here. Uh, I'm going to Git clone. So I'm in the mic challenges right now. If I actually just list everything out, I don't have a uh, boggle in there. So I can do git clone and list everything out again. And there's my boggle. I'm going to CD in the boggle. Now I'm going to open this up in the current window VS code. So there's my boggle board right here. And I told, I forgot to do something I did said I was going to do last time in guessing game, which was create a new branch. So I'm on, currently on the master. I'm going to do git checkout dash B uh, instructor solution and switch to new branch. So I'm no longer on the master. Now I'm on the instructor solution branch. Great. So let's take a look at, um, does anybody have any, what questions you have about me running through forking, cloning, and switching to a new branch? None? All right, let's get through this one. Okay, it says there's three parts to this challenge. Uh, step one, so if you, didn't, if you don't know what Bogaboard is, you can read about it in the Wikipedia. But essentially this first iteration, all we care about is uh, outputting a Boga board with four lines or you know, four lines with four characters long. So first iteration, we will not care if it's possible for a word to be created with our generated board. In other words, we're going to focus on building out, our, out the necessary data structure to emulate our board. The Boga board class has one core instance method, shake. Uh, think about how you want to re represent the board. Shake should modify the board by filling each cell with a random uppercase letter, A through Z. Also, there aren't any restrictions on the letters. They can appear multiple times, so choose at random. If you've looked into Bago, you're probably thinking about how in Bago Q is always QU. Don't worry about this. Instead, just use Q to represent the Q. So when a new Boga board is initialized, the output should look something like this. All right. So we have our initial, uh, initial instance method. So I've seen all, all different types of ways we can go ahead about manipulating this, whatever data structure we want to make it look like, you know, four lines with four uh, underscores. Um, I've seen people do use strings. Uh, I've used people use arrays. I've used seen I've seen people use arrays of arrays, so nested arrays. But what I'm going to use is just an array of underscores. So self dot game board. That's what I'm going to call it. And how do I create an array that is how many characters long or spaces? So four times four, sixteen. So it should be 16 underscores. So how do I do, I can do like that and then just keep on repeating this 16 more times or 14 more times like that. So I could do that or there's an easier way. I can literally just do that times 16. So I can print uh, self.gameboard and 
I'm going to just do a, a pass down here in, in the shake method so I don't get any errors. So I'm going to say like new game equals Boggle board and invoke that to create a new instance of Boggle board. What questions do you have about what I've kind of just ran through right now and creating an array of 16 underscores? So I'm gonna, uh, Tom, go just so thinking about boggle uh, or your boggle board, are, aren't you going to run into problems where like you're not going to be able to know um, which cells are like diagonal from each other and stuff? I think that's for part two. Is, is that what you're referring to? Like actually finding the word? Well, just yeah but just in general i mean you're making a board that has to you have to be able to know where the letters are relative to each other yeah uh, um that's part of the algorithm that you kind of have to create in part two okay and boggle board two okay yeah <clears throat> so yeah depending on how you implement your game board or how you print your game board will depend on the type of el well your algorithm your algorithm to solve whether or not words exist will depend on how you print your game board essentially. So I'm gonna, I'm in the terminal. I'm going to, I'm going to run this. So boggle board there i get, I get an array of 16 uh, strings underscores but I need it to look like this. So <clears throat> we're not confined to just the shake method. We can create any kind of instance method we deem necessary. So with that, I'm gonna say uh, def view game aboard and invoke it or not invoke it. And then just do print self.gameboard so i don't need to do that i can always just call like new game board or new game dot view game board and execute and it should print the same thing okay that's not necessary that's just something i wanted to do just uh so i don't have to um just i wanted to create another method just for that but now i want to create a a method that manipulates this array of underscores to look something like this. So I'm going to create a new method called self or def dot print board and pass in self. It doesn't need to pass in any uh, arguments because we already have access to the game board because it's an instance method or instance variable. So now we have to figure out how can we change this and make it look something like this? You got to join it. I've got to join it. Okay. So if I just do like self dot game board, like what does the join method do? It would bring them together like a, like a, almost like a straight line, but you have to make it, like four, so either not exactly sure how to make it four. It's either like a new line or like something with the array, like every four doing something like that. Or okay, so I heard you say every four do something. So um, I can loop through this. So I can do like grab the first four, grab the second four, grab the third four, and grab the last four and put them on new lines. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do. But now how do you go about doing that? So um, I can do, uh, so if I just wanted to grab the first four of the, of the game board, how do I do that? Self.gameboard, how do I grab the first four elements? You could use a slice. I can do a slice. How do I, I don't know how, like how to do slicing in Python, how to slice a, an array in Python. 
NumPy, that's not what I want. Oh, I guess, what is this? Slicing arrays. So I got this like array, but I don't, I don't know if I need NumPy to do that. So I'll just look in here. So here, Stack Overflow, 4,800 people said, hey, this is the correct answer. So here's the array. Here's a starting point and here's a stopping point. So I can just do like start at zero and is it inclusive of four or exclusive of four? I am not sure. So I can I just want to, I just want to see what this looks like. So I'm going to print and now I'm going to execute this print board method. I'm going to come down here in the terminal. I'm going to clear it. And I'm going to execute this boggle board. So there, I've got the first four. So this is inclusive zero through four or ex, ex, exclusive of four. So it grabs index zero, one, two, three, and not including four. And now um, I heard someone say join. So join in Python. Uh, join string iterable. I don't know what that does. Geeks for geeks. String name join. So I, it looks like I have an, just in this example, I've got an array which I kind of do right down here in this, this part. This is an array of four. I can join and I'm, this is a string. So, okay. So it looks like I can do print uh, dot join and encapsulate that. But now I want to know, like I'm just going to put underscore yeah this is like how so the output so this is the separator so separates one four like dash 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 so i'm just going to do dash just to see what that looks like i'm going to clear that and i'm going to execute this code in the terminal again so i've got underscore dash underscore dash underscore so let's get rid of that underscore or that dash. So there's no spaces in there. And there I've got the first line of zero through four. But now I need lines or indexes four through, you know, four through seven. Yeah, and so on. So now I can loop through the array and grab the first four, second four, third four, and fourth, the last four by doing four i in range. And now I can start at index zero. So I'm just gonna keep this separate for right now. And I wanna loop through in the length of the self dot game board. So the game board is that 16 characters long or a length of 16. I'm just going to print I. So we have this part, but I'm going to comment it out for right now because we're going to be combining these two. So I'm going to execute this. And there we, we print all uh, indexes zero through the length of the game board. But I want to just grab the first, so if I'm using this right here, instead of grabbing index zero, I can grab index i, because it starts at zero. And now I can do i plus four, that would equal four for the first one. So if I execute that, I just wanna see what this looks like. So it executed it 16 times 
and then it slowly decreases here because once it gets up to like index 13, I plus four is you know, 17 and there isn't a character right there. So instead of iterating going zero, like printing out, oh, instead of printing out incrementing by one, like I'm doing here, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up to fifteen. I can increment by four because I'm doing i for this join method. I'm doing i plus i plus four. And so the next round, I don't want to do two, three, or four. I want to jump to essentially index four. So I want to grab just these first three. And then the next time it runs through this for loop, I want it to start at four. And then I want to grab these four. And then the next time it runs through the for loop, I want to start at line eight. So I'm going to look at the range in Python. W3School. <clears throat> So the range has a start, stop, and an optional step uh, argument, which is how often I want to step, like how much, instead of starting it going incrementing by one, I can increment by two or something. So if I print that, it starts at zero, two, four, six, eight, twelve. But if I do four, it starts zero, four, eight, twelve. So I is four, zero, four, eight, twelve. So if I is initially the first time it goes through zero and then it prints I plus four. So it'll print zero, one, two, three. And then the next time it goes through I is four, it'll say I is four, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'll print the, the next four. So if I actually run this, I get the way the board should be printed. What questions do you have about this print game board or the print board method and how it is working? I know it's a little confusing. So this is just incrementing by four. So zero, four, eight, twelve. So just every four, it's incrementing. And then in this print, it's just doing I and then I plus the four because we need four lines in, in the game board. One, two, three, four. So it's literally just grabbing the first four second four, third four, and the last four. What questions do you have? Nothing? <clears throat> All right. And so first it says when the new Bago board is initialized, the output should look something like this. So right now I actually, actually, I actually have to invoke the print board method, but right when I initialize it, I want it to show the board. And right now it's not, because I just print Python, I ran this, in, initialize a new Baga board game, and it's not printing anything. So up in here, I can actually initialize it with calling self.print board method. So I'm actually invoking this print board method in this in dunder init um, function method. And I'm invoking it like that. And that's why we do the self in here. So self.print board, I have access to all the different methods. I have access to different instance methods by invoke doing the self, just like we would be doing the self dot for instance variables. So now if I execute that, 
it shows that initial game board. what questions you have about printing the board or anything. All right, before, oh, go ahead. A question about classes in general. Is it bad practice to put like stuff outside of the deaf blocks? Outside of, like in here? No, um, like. Uh, You're breaking up. Oh yeah, I, I guess, I'm sorry. Oh, um, like, uh, yeah, I guess it would be in the class thing. So like if you created a function that you only want to use inside of the class and then you call it, is that bad? So if would you want to create another def that calls the function if you need to use that function? I don't think I quite understand what you're so. Uh, for example, for like the stretch part, I created a function to create a matrix. And then I had to call that to create the matrix. Oh. And then I just put it outside of a def statement. Is that okay? So you created a new. So you created a new method to create a matrix. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. And you put yeah. it out and you put the method outside of so like in line right here, like so outside of the class. Oh no, it's in the class, but uh so it's inside like, the class. And then like at the same level of the all the functions, I called the build matrix. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't think that's bad. Yeah, I would avoid doing that. When 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 was it actually called? Did you just like invoke it here? I'm oh, sorry. Like that. yeah, just right after. So like right after it, you did like build matrix, right? Yeah. Or, some, or something like that. Yeah, I'd, I would avoid doing that. I would have a, an explicit method that would invoke this method. So like a method called build matrix. Yeah, you should, you should create like another method to actually like Def, like build game logic and then you'd run, execute that method to like build a matrix and do other and then like do like perform other perform other logic as well okay so you never want anything outside of like a def statement in right. the class yeah can you can you build a function that doesn't call self and then reference that function like in other methods? No, unless you explicitly pass that in as an argument. So you should always, if you want to use instance methods in other argument in other methods, you need the self keyword. All right, before we get on to shake, uh, let's take a six minute break. And uh, Modi should be coming in. And then after that, we'll finish uh, Boggleboard. <laughs> 